Greetings and salutations to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fallout 4 with your good buddy Kluger. Yes, I am playing this game just like everybody else. I know, there are so many videos out there on Fallout already, but how can you blame them? How can you blame me? It's such a fantastic freaking game. I've done a bit of a test run. In fact, I've already recorded this episode and then stuffed it up. So here we are doing it again. <laughs> Not that you know that until now, but here we go. It's a really fun game. It's a beautiful, brilliant game. Here we go. Oh man, it's gonna be exciting. It's it's a fantastic thing. Look at it. It's just gorgeous, man. That's me, by the way. I'm pointing at the screen. That's a fair likeness of myself. My hair's a lot cooler, but the beard's about there. So here we go. We just exited Vault 111, where we've been kept underground for quite a lengthy period of time. I did skip. There's a bit of a sort of prologue that goes on, and you learn a little bit about the story. Hopefully you're playing this game for yourself, and you are going to explore that and learn that as you go along. It's well worth the time. If you haven't got this game... Oh, nice. If you haven't got this game, I implore you to go get it and check it out for yourself. So I won't ramble on and necessarily spoil the start because it's, I find it I found it's rather to be a little bit of a heart wrencher. It's kind of sad and you know you with you, you know you've got your family at the start and then yeah you know, things happen which aren't nice. It's pretty much a bit of a bummer. So go check that out or just go watch someone else's video. I suppose if they included it, but I'd prefer you didn't leave because I like you and you should stay and watch with me. Oh, but here we go. We're at, am I still sprinting? Okay, so you you just press once to sprint. Whoopsies. There you go. I learned a thing. So here we are. This is the town of Sanctuary, where we lived pre the nuclear apocalypse. This is our town. This is this was our old jam, and here we are. And who might that be? Codsworth, our old domestic robot. Let's go have a chat. Codsworth, you're still here. Codsworth, you're you're still here. So, other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? Oh. Don't know, man. They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. Mm. Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume. Or a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Uh, where is she, by the by? Thought we talked about that. I guess she's she's in a better place. She's in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Have you seen Sean? He's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm. You're suffering from hunger and Paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? I feel fine. Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Not really. Are you okay, Codsworth? Codsworth, you're acting 
little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car. Codworth all mad. Oh gosh, so what do you know, Codsworth? You know, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this holotape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, oh, everything happened. Ah, oh, thank you, Codsworth. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, and I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Oh, maybe. I don't know. All right, Godsworth's keen. So, here we go. Now, I did want to ask really quick, ladies and gents, on your preference for cutscenes and dialogues. Um, here's my gun, by the way. So, yes, if you prefer a more cinematic approach where I sit there and, and talk out the cutscenes, do let me know. Otherwise, if you find it annoying and if you prefer me to sort of skip through... Come on, man, hit the dude. There we go. If you prefer me to skip through and sort of get to the action a little quicker... Oh, Codsworth just messed that dude up. No, I don't want to shoot Codsy. Codsy's my pal. Oh yeah, there's a vault in here. <laughs> One bobby pin. God damn it. Whoop, careful now. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me the stuff. Give me... I don't want the pipe pistol. They're pretty bad. From what I've seen in my brief playthrough of the game so far, wooden block IND, that's really weird. I don't want that. So yes, let me know about the cutscenes if you prefer them quicker and more to the point, or if you want to see them all. That would be cool. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Get him, Codsy. Come on, mush. <laughs> Oh boy, and I forgot it was... Oh, I had another thing to say. Oh yeah, the HUD is customizable, so if you haven't played the game yet, that's a cool thing. Like this this baby blue and this funky green. That looks pretty much normal, but I'd have tweaked those colors to my own personal taste just slightly. That's pretty cool. Um, VATS works a little differently now. As you can see, it goes into slow-mo. It doesn't go into uh, complete freeze, which is really cool. It adds a, a dimension of... Even though it's still slow-mo, you feel panicked, like, quick, i got to pick a thing to shoot, you know? <laughs> which is kind of nice, it's a bit of a different thing, which I like, and things. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop with that ramble. Oh boy. But man, beautiful game, fantastic game, I'm loving it. It knows my name, by the way. They're a little bit gone, Codsworth. Sean's out there, man. Concord. Thanks, Codsworth. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain. So Codsworth, Codsworth, Codsworth's a robot. Concord is a nearby town that we'll have to go and check out very soon. I feel. Bada bing bam bom. Uh, are there any other houses we can check out? It's over that way. Uh, ba -ba -ba bam. Oh yeah, we can. I've been showing you this. What? I did end the first recording, but that failed miserably. So, crafting. It's available straight from the get-go. Armor, which we haven't really got yet. What have we got in here? Give me the stuff. Um, and straight off the bat, that big marketing thing that Bethesda were talking about, the whole workshop where you can, you can build like a whole town and stuff. Available straight off the bat, just quietly. Look at all this stuff you can make. Fantastic. Look at this. We can scrap. 
Okay, I want I want four steel. That'd be tip top. Give me some more steel. That'd be tip top, and etc. I'm not. We're not going to get into this straight away because there's so much other stuff to do. But there you go. How cool is that? Straight off the bat. And weapons as well. I'm going to do this real quick because I do like to just tweak this. It's fine just to do an initial tweak. We can, instead of a standard grip, go a comfort grip. Make it. There we go. Customized gun. And I'm pretty sure you get experience for doing that too. Whoopsies. Yes, exit the station. So that's very cool stuff. Uh, this actually goes into the house and stuff. Is there anything in here? Maybe there's a bath. I like baths. Bathing is fun. Uh, jet, sure. Clean blue suit. I would look so slick. But I do like my Vault Triple One jumpsuit. Quite fond of the thing. But anyway, onwards we go. There's a gas station down the way. Which we need to go and check out. Oh, so yeah, the crafting looks like a really fun thing, by the way. There is gonna clearly be a crazy amount of depth to that, I dare say. But we'll definitely get into it down in later episodes. Once we've sort of settled in, we've got a bit of a gear, we've got a bit of a grasp on the story and our own playstyle and the etc. and the etc. Cat bowl? I'll take the, I took the grenades, but I don't want no cat bowl. Speaking of playstyle, typically what I end up going for in these games is more of a stealthy, sneaky approach. If it's a medieval, I'd normally be using like a bow and some stealth. Similar for Fallout 3, I did attempt more stealthy approaches where I could. Look, that's, a, that's some decent stuff. You got anything? Not really. That's just how I kind of like to play, at least for my initial playthrough. A lot of times, of course, I end up, um, you know, you, you rerun characters. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You do characters again, and you play different ways. But for now, I'm thinking just the quiet, sneaky approach is going to be very nice. Hey, oh yeah, here's our doggy. Hello. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Yeah, buddy. Um, let's go. You want to come with me, pal? Hell yeah, he does. Who's that good doggy? Okay, then. Let's stick together. How cute's that dude, man? Too cute. What the heck? Cooking station. Cool. Can I cook? Beverage. I want a beverage. I haven't got anything to make anything. Dog found something. Get me out of this, would you? There we go. But that's a cool thing. What'd you find, doggy? I think he's called dog me, but I prefer to call him Bob. <laughs> Bob is a thing. Push button. What did I do? Oh, I closed the garage. That's weird. Give me that stim pack. Pipe pistol. Nah, gold watch sounds useful. Duct tape, scalpel sounds scary. Power armor station. Ho ho ho. <laughs> what that noise was. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Edotronic. Nothing in there. I've done this a couple of times, uh, ladies and gents, to get a feel for the game and for my first recording attempt. So I kind of have a little feeling as to what's coming. <laughs> but that's okay. It'll still be a surprise to you if you haven't played the game. That is. Uh, cap stash. This won't tell me much, I don't think. Buff out. Sure, Nuka Cola. Sounds good. Ah, yep, there we go. Oh, get shot in the butt. Mole rats, dude. I probably don't even need to do uh, vats for these guys, but, you know, it's fun. I like vats. Go out this door. There's bound to be more of them. No? Come on. Get him, doggy. Come on, Bob. Bob the dog meat. Stim packs. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, no no kidding. The first two attempts, there were so many more mole rats in there. There was like five or six. That time, there was only two bloody scrubs. Anyway. Has this got anything in it? Uh, yeah. Give me. Give me a new Coca-Cola, baby. Empty milk bottle. Not so... Oh, a chemistry station. What the hell? That's awesome. What's it telling me over here? There's another red thing. Where is it? Ah, oh, there's the rest of the mole rats. Sneaky sons of guns. Quick, it's going underground. Feral things? Jeepers, holy crap. There's one right in front of me. I can't shoot him, he's too close. There we go. Another one bites the crust. Uh, boom. Have well, we got him? There's one more, apparently. Where'd it go? Dog meat. Bob dog. Bob Dog. That's an awesome name. I shot it in the ass. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I talked like that. It's fine. We're great at this video game. Onwards! Oh, here we go. This is the town. We're right there. Bam. 
This is Concordia. <laughs> Hiya. So, cool little town. Hey, hey, we leveled up. Now I'm going to repeat the process I did last time. <laughs> but we'll jump in. So this perk system, it looks awesome, by the way. Quick explanation. Um, the ones that are colored in, we have access to. The ones with the dotted outlines, we can't get access. And it's based off your special talents, which I can cover while I'm here, I suppose. So I've got five charisma, three intelligence, five agility, three luck, five perception. So I've got four endurance and three strength. I did those completely out of order. And I'm, I am a bit of a rifleman, as you can see right there. Pretty, pretty cool. Because I want to use some sniper rifles and stuff. So I'm going to start with that. Confirm selection. Done. Solid. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff we can get, which is going to be very cool and fun times. But for now, that will do the trick. Here we go. Discovered Concord. Something tells me in my, in my bones that there's something bad going on around these parts. Yuck, yuck. I don't know why I'm all Western now, but I'm going with it. Suddenly, I feel the need to go stealthy, shrugs. Why would I do that? I haven't actually been in here before, though, you know. Is there anything cool up here? There is stuff. Wonder glue. That seems useful. Shotgun shells. There you go. Short, short pipe action. What? Short pipe bolt action rifle. Bot what? Let me have a look at that. That sounds funky and cool. Is it a... Oh, it's a longer thing. Fire rate 2, range 131. Oh, baby. Hook me up to that thing. Have I got a... I haven't got a sight out of here, though, unfortunately. But we'll go back down. Oh, yeah. Let's mess some stuff up with our newly found rifle skills. Look, see, there's a chump right here. 68% to nail this dude. Oh, yeah. Well, he had a knife. What's he going to do with that, man? Lolzors. Why am I talking? I'm just too excited. I'm so excited that I'm just talking like an absolute knob. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I don't. I shouldn't say lolzors. 23%. That's a pretty low chance to hit. We should be able to sneak up a bit closer. We have decent range on this puppy. There we go. That should be good enough. One of these is bound to hit. Come on, man. Nope. Oh, no. We got him. We got him. Have we got enough action points? Yep. Nail him. Ah, oh, come on. Do it manually then. Got him. One left. Uh, apparently I missed. Classic. Let's go for the head. Oh, yeah. Get messed up, fool. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's chill, bro. We're all fine. Sack hood with straps. No. Nah. Someone else is bound to have some slightly better stuff. Bottle caps, hook me up. The leathers will be helpful because they'll just give us some armor. When freedom calls, is there anything in here? We gotta loot all the things. It's kind of compulsory, right? You can't not loot all the things in this kind of game. That mannequin creeps me out. Busted up terminal. Typical. Dog meat, get out of the way, you damn crazy face. What about up the stairs? Man, how many stairs are in this thing? Lots of mannequins. Aha! Uh -huh. Mentats, sure. Uh, Not much else to mention up here. Whatever. Alright, back down we go. I'm wasting time. Let's go. Bing, bang, bong. Get down the floors. The floors of stairs and stuff. Oh yeah, the laser musket. I'll have you and your fusion cells. Ra re green rag hat. I can't even read. A Minuteman outfit. You're a Minuteman, huh? I know you. What do you have? Whoops. Double barrel shotgun. Sure. A solid gas mask leather. Chest piece. Harness. I will wear these things. Okay, so apparel. We'll chuck them on because we'll get a bit of armor out of them. They're the chest piece. Awesome. Right leg and right arm. So we don't have everything yet, but that's cool. So we've got the laser musket, which is a little bit less damage than what we found, actually. But we're out of gun, out of bullets on that. So we'll, we'll go with this then. <laughs> awesome source. Okay, here we go. 
And we have bad things happening. I got a bad line of sight on that guy. But I got this lady in sight. Shoot it. Bam. Shot it. Come on, fool. There we go. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. Ah, oh, should, we, should we try the headshot? No. Can't get it. Ouch. Come on. It's a pretty tough shot. Ah, oh, we missed. Damn, fool. I can't get some move, doggy. Trying to get some cover. Oh, man. This wasn't this hard last time. Alright, let's just move. Let's just move. This is a bad spot. Go, 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 go. Alrighty. Go into inventory. We need aid. We got a few stim packs. Hit me up with a stim pack. Can we go into stealth mode? Maybe we'll lose them. Mwah. Ah, ah. It's how the skills always play. What do you reckon? Have I lost them? Probably not. <laughs> nope. Found him. Shoot it. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Great job. So, but now, we leveled. And I want to be a bit sneakier. Don't find me, please. Confirm. 20% harder while sneaking. Awesome. Not that we're undetected right now, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, this is all pretty lame. Whatever, let's just take what we can. I can always come back for it. Uh, where's the other one? She's up the top somewhere. Oh gosh. Get moving. There she is. Got her in sight. Him or her, I don't know what it is. There we go. Pegged him. Get, get eviscerated. I think, is it eviscerated? I don't know. It's dead, whatever it is. I don't want no freaking psycho. That's gross. Alright, back to stealth mode. Just temporarily. But ladies and gents, we're going to have to end the episode here. We're going to go way over time otherwise. I hope you did dig this very first episode of this series. Needless to say, this game is ridiculously fun and I have to do at least a few more episodes because, come on, how fun and awesome and beautiful is this game? I'm not going to go too much further ahead though. Don't worry, you won't miss out on the good stuff. My name is Kluger. Please make sure you come back again soon. You leave likes and comments below and I'll talk to you soon.